accomplished. All time. busy some other shit happened you know so anyways I'm trying to make a small vlog today maybe get in a little barbecue action for you guys we'll have to see I'm just running around right now putt putting around look at these birds they want to die they want to die anyways it's it's so clear it's been so clear the last three days I mean look at this you can see all the way over to like, what is that, Captain Cook? You know, way down there? I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it. But it's just been so clear the last couple of days on the island. It's just gnarly. We love it. We love it. Huh. Get out of the road, chicken. Oh, what happened here? It looked like somebody lost their trash. Ugh. Oh, God, it stinks. Disgusting. Anyways, what else? Uh, I don't know. Fourth of July was fun. Lots of bikes out. It was amazing. Then the week got pretty boring and quiet. <laughs> kind of like everything just stopped, which, I don't know. I guess that's how it works. You have super fun one weekend, and the week just seems not so fun because of work and everything else. But what are you going to do? But it looks like rain's coming down on the mountain, too. So I'm trying to hurry up and I'm thinking about grabbing some ribs. Having some ribs from Costco and uh, heading back home, and maybe we can film cooking those. It'll be a lot of fun. Show you guys some techniques. I just wanted to take this road down and see how clear it was all the way down, but it's pretty sunny and clear. Yes, it is. Oh, how's this truck? Nice truck, bro. Nice track, bruh. What's up, bruh? Damn, Solaris going as slow as a turtle, bruh. Come on. The speed limit is 35. And I break it every time, but that's okay. Man. Let's see. Yeah, maybe we'll throw some video game in there, too. I don't know. We'll see how it is. So, for some reason, and... I mean, it's probably apparent because my schedule's all over the place and messed up due to work and trying to film and do other stuff, I guess, and hanging out with the boys and playing too much video games late at night, which I totally shouldn't be doing, but that's okay. I fell asleep yesterday at probably like 4.30. I was supposed to get online and play with the boys, and then I woke up and I thought I slept all night and I thought it was morning. I was freaking out a little bit and then realized, no, it's still Friday night. And then I fell asleep again and didn't wake up until this morning. So obviously my schedule was a very, do I want to put, I needed the sleep. I was lacking in sleep. So anyways, today's probably going to be pretty dedicated to making a video at some point, somehow, some way, and getting it up on our YouTube channel probably won't even really care what it is. No, I'm kidding. I try to try to bring you guys good content. We try to bring you guys good content. But we'll see. We will
we'll see how it goes, my friends. Sometimes it just feels so good when you're in a turn. Oh yes, it's all good. So, green light already. I think we get time to breathe. Look at that Integra. I miss my Integra. If I had money back then, I would have fixed it up. It was a fun little car, man. You know what I'm saying, man? I don't even know what I'm saying, man. This thing was so old, though. Shit. Get a real bike. It's more fun than that. Probably not healthier, but... <laughs> oh, yellow light. My bad. I was through it though. Nobody can say anything. Oh, gladiator. I mean, look at this though. What a beautiful day until those clouds back there. Other than that, it's so beautiful. Like a man. What's up, dog? Oh, you ain't got a wave? Forget you then, punk! Man, can't even get a friendly Saturday wave. Shit. What is that? More trash? Yeah. I always feel like I need something from over here, but I don't. Like I want maybe it's just because I want to go down there, but I don't need anything down there. Silly? Is it silly? I don't feel like it's silly. Uh, all right, take a breath from this rush of life called the bike life. Thank you. Bro, wash your car. Man, I mean, my car's 32. I need a wash, but it still looks cleaner than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got, like, mold growing on it. Or is that just faded paint? I mean, I guess I wouldn't really know the difference. So, in the upcoming week, Jay does not have any of our same days off, so it's going to be another struggling week of how to make our videos. I don't know what this lady's looking at me for. Did I cut her off? I don't think I did. Maybe she's looking through me. Like it's so badass. Alright, stay in that lane until I get by. Please, don't hurt. Stuff scares me. Yeah. I don't know what this dude's doing. Are you merging? You're not merging? You're go I mean, look at that. He's over the line. What are you doing, bro? Jeez. Now he's over here. Scary stuff, people. This is what you have to watch out for on a motorcycle. So your head should always be on a swivel. And I know people that don't have their heads on a swivel, and it's scary. Hi. Staring at my helmet, too? Well, thank you. Ashante. Here we go. They fixed this road finally. Well, some of it. I won't say all of it, but some of it. 
it's not nearly as dangerous as it was because it was pretty bad. So the other week, I put my helmet on and it snagged a chunk of my hair and it's stuck in the strap that holds my GoPro and it like tickles my mouth and I just, ugh, I gotta cut it out. Yeah, that's good. Just merge over straight to the left. Stupid. You know, I don't understand when people went to driving school, didn't they learn that when you merge, you go into the first lane your merge lane goes to, and then you go over? I mean, I, I just don't get these things. It's like that scene in Family Guy. Okay, I'm going to merge left. My blinker's on. Good luck, everybody else. What the hell, dude? The bike is purring like a little kitten. It just purrs like a little. I'm going, sorry. Excuse me, Moa. I have to go and attend to my bank. And I will deal with you folks in a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean like a couple minutes. Okay? Okay. I'll talk to you guys soon. Welcome back. We are all done at playing at the bank. Now, you gotta know how dangerous this is. You can't see shit on that side of the truck. Now we are going to go up. I have to make my car payment. And, um,. Talk to you guys in a minute. Alright, 
Well, sorry guys if I, I think I left the camera on when I went into Safeway. So, my bad, I'll have to edit that out. Maybe, there's nothing funny going on. But, I had to stop and see if it was working. Since it turned off, I guess I turned it off. I don't know, everything's all backwards. Anyways, all right, I gotta make one more pit stop. Then we're on our way to Costco. Grab some ribs. Let's they have something better. And then we'll go home and start cooking some shenanigans up. Let's see, anybody we know? I like to ride through here because sometimes you see people you know. I see that guy all day at work. It's funny. I wonder what he does, because he's like in and out of work every day. All day. Yeah. Woo! Mr. Mike! I'm gonna turn around and go say hi. Where'd he go? <laughs> Tell him, say what's up to the gram. He's a funny one. What's up? Nova! Huh? <laughs> Making a video! Oh yeah, hey! Yeah. Uh, Brother Mark, you've yeah. seen him in all our videos. Right, right, right. Just cruising? Yeah, I just did laundry and uh, I was supposed to work this morning and the guy canceled last minute. Oh wow. Yeah, the What am I going to do? It's laundry and a movie probably. There you go. Are you still filming me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to run to Costco and get some food. All right, all right. Maybe make a barbecue video. Oh yeah. See what's right. up. Look forward to the next one. Yeah. It'll be up tonight. I'll send it out in the thread. All right. All right. Shoot, you too. Oh. Ah, uh, that guy's awesome. The Ocean View Casanova. <laughs> Uh. All right. Back, uh, back, back to the the mission at hand. Uh. <laughs> uh, it's just cool to have friends like him, Gene, Jade, Bossa, Sarah, everybody, and just yell out your name. And, Love to say hi and talk story. It's awesome. Uh, oh, I can go. I'm going. I'm going. All right. Back up, going on the open road again. The open road, not really, because it's a red line. Come on. Turn. Turn, 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 and I'm gonna turn. Uh, that means I have to put my feet down. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, how'd they take off?
love it love it yes sir all right i'm sorry if my camera angles messed up again i really gotta figure out a way to fix this i wonder if that was justin you gotta work with mr justin you can't tell Hair is ticking in my mouth. God. No rat. Here we go. You spin me right round, baby, right round now. Rotors are good, sir. Oh, pothole. Don't like the pothole. Oh, God, that was a big one. That challenger thinks he can race everybody. What a tool. He can't race no bike though. I ain't seen him race no bike though. Shit. be liking to own them guns. Boat, eh? A little bit of a boat, eh? Man, what do you say? I should go up the local mountain too. I haven't been up there with the bike. Man, there's a bunch of stuff I haven't done. You go all the way up that mountain to the, to the right right there, and it's a steep climb, but it probably burn up my brakes. It's so steep up the hill. It's just so steep. Nice and cool up here, man. I love it up here. It's never hot. I mean, you get some sun, but it never gets too hot. Love it. Love it. Alright, here we go. Coming up to the last stop. Then we'll shoot down to Costco. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Alright, welcome back, everybody. Here comes the hard part, trying to get out of this parking lot. Make a minor pit stop, because we had to grab some funds for this little venture. Oh, that's a car, and a pothole, and that's a truck, and here we go. Yeah. yeah, the air is getting so nice and cool. Then we're gonna drop down, probably the fucking, I mean, uh, <laughs> almost sea level. Yeah, I didn't say it, I almost caught myself. I know when we edit this 4th of July video, we're gonna have to edit it a lot, because if I remember correctly, me and your boy JD were swearing a ton. Uh, yeah, it's pretty gnarly. It's pretty gnarly. Alright! I got a nice breeze up here though. I'm kinda loving it right now. Let us see. Make 
this right, go down the Costco Road. One of the steepest roads on this side of the island, probably. Woo! I don't even have to throttle. It's upshifting. <laughs> Just let the bike roll. Don't wave, it's cool. Nobody waves anymore. Too busy staring like there's somebody at the top of that bike. Like, what are you trying to look over, dude? A mountain? Come on. Woo! What time is it? All right, Costco's open. Oh, what a beautiful day. Is that a car? There's a car back there. Huh. It's interesting. To say the least. Man, look at all that. Another car. Huh. Well, no, I don't know what these people do. Kind of crazy. Birdie, stay away, birdie. Let's see. Let's see. Getting closer. We're getting closer. Making the left hand turn. What is going on down there? Oh. Looks like an orange car was U turning. I think it was just a bike turning left. Ugh. Oh, look at this brand new Toyota Tacoma. Looks just like the one I have at my job. Pilates! Nice. Yeah, I'm not going right. Don't cut out in front of me, please. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. The bomb grinds. You know how many people have been up in that place? And you're the bomb, so I'm going to hope you last. Because no place up there lasts. Tracy Stacy's. Oh, man. She made her own focaccia bread. And then she put hot pastrami in between it. Oh, my God. God, it was so good. She didn't last. Buns in the sun. Great place to go for a nice big sourdough sandwich. So good. Grilled cheese was so good. Didn't last. Damn it. You know, then what was the next one? Bao dim sum shit. That place didn't last because of COVID. Oh, look at this car. Woo! He was cherry. All right, are you going right? Smart, smart. Because I'm going down a here. Oh my God, this place just opened. Look at it, it's already filling up. Man. But, you know the best thing about bike parking? We get our own parking. It's not anywhere. But we do get our own parking. And it is pretty full. Alright. Hopefully. Just pull in here and... Not get in the way of anybody. Would be ideal. But I am not good at walking the bike back and forth. Okay. 
All right, we arrived at our destination. Talk to you guys in a bit. Here we go. Again, a no waiver. What? I haven't got one wave today. Is it my style? Generally nice guy. Watch this. See? No wave though. Nobody waves. No aloha. Everybody's just grumpy and mad and want to get everywhere super fast. Unbelievable. And then people wonder why they're so miserable when other people treat them like crap. You know what I mean? Come on. Friendly wave, like a thank you wave. <laughs> uh, this is why I stay home. This is why I just go back home. Nobody's nice out. You know? Yeah, you going left? What? His rates are cheaper than Costco's. Let me get these things on the grill. Start showing you guys what's up with the barbecue. All right, we hit the green light. That's what I like. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, my left ear is ringing. I'm on the last little bit of corn on the way home here. I'm gonna go home, probably start prepping these, put my head mount on, hope it fits. If it doesn't, we're in some trouble. But yeah, then we'll start uh, start filming on the barbecue side, try to get it all up in there, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. So uh, next time I see you guys, I'll be prepping the ribs. Please! Okay, everybody, welcome back. We are here. Hopefully, you can see more than just my belly. <laughs> I hope, but we're going to try opening some of these ribs. And I have my lovely mother for my assistant today since your boy JD's not here. Give them a wave. Hi. Hopefully you can see her. Usually she's too short or I'm too fat, so it's one or the other. Um, but she likes to usually help me with the lathering of the ribs. If you want to, if you will. Okay, well, I'm gonna start with the honey. Okay. So usually what we do is we usually Lather these bad boys up in mustard first. Hey, you can't be cussing. This is going on the thingy. For somebody who's always ragging on us. And then which one do we want to do? The Saskatchewan one? You do that one first? Okay. Let's see, where is it? Did you put it away? Why would you put all this back here? I'm trying to use it. Is 
So if you guys want to know, it's a pretty good rub. Hopefully you guys can see that by Traeger. If it comes out. All right. Doesn't want to obey. Well, we do, because that is we're gonna strong. go. We're gonna go full retard. All right, hold on. With the moisture over here in Hawaii, you can't can't keep anything open that might get stuck together because then it just starts to get jacked. Oh God! Now we're messing everything up. Let me move it around. All right, there you go. Let's <clears throat> get some of those like that. You can see how the, the mustard's already binding it to the pork. It's making it look really nice and juicy like already, huh, mama? <laughs> right? Mm. Pork fat rules. You want to flip it over? Um, no, I think, you know, let's just do the tops for this one. All right, we'll be right back with the second one. All right, I don't know why this isn't working now. It's going? It's going. Okay, it's going. We're going! We're going. Now I can't get the head thing on. Sorry, everybody. It's not working. It doesn't want to... But... All right, here we go. Again. Sorry. Trying to get the the view good here. All right. Well, here we go again. Then this rub is my own special concoction of simple ingredients. I'm sure if you look on Google, you can find out what it is. <laughs> it's your basic four spices. Okay. No, okay. It's just black pepper, some salt, um, smoked paprika, and cumin. Because cumin makes everything good. Can't go wrong with no cum cumin. Cumin? Cumin. However you say it. Let me just douse it on there. Let it bind to the pork fat. All right. With the, the mustard, it usually makes it pretty tangy. So that's, that's kind of your cool, good binder. Good? Yeah, I think so. You got it? That one might, uh... Oh. Might drop some rub everywhere. All right, here we go. Yeah, 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 just lay it on top. All right, last rack. And, just, uh, and we're gonna pretty much do the three, two, one rule, which is where you smoke it for about three hours, turn up the heat, cook it, or bake it, kind of bake it for like two hours and then it rest for about an hour. Which is the hardest part. We never really let it rest for about an hour. Here, take that lid off. There we go. All right.
But yeah, and then after this, turn the camera off. I gotta start the grill. We'll come back to you guys. It's about 11.15 right now, so probably in like a half an hour, we'll come back and we'll put these on and start cooking them up and get that smoke flavor going. Mmm. Oh, there you go, it's looking good. I can put this in the rubbish, right? Yeah. Mom doesn't like juices going down the drain. Well, no, not when you got a septic. Well, not a septic. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. That'll do. I'm gonna just try and throw some of this rub on there again. And just douse it. We're gonna douse it. Pretty good fun, I say. Pretty good fun right there. That's what I said. There. Do your thing. Alright, well, actually what I'm going to do is I'll just go start the grill now. Maybe. If I can. Alright. I'm going to head out here, take a look at this beautiful view real quick, start the grill. Make sure we got enough pellets. Mm-hmm. What a lovely Saturday. I got no friends to feed, except for Kahiku, but I don't want to invite him yet because he'll eat everything. Sorry, Kahiku. Just kidding. You might be able to come over later. Do we got pellets? Okay, got plenty of pellets. Turn this thing on to smoke. God bless the trigger. All right, you guys, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, I got the, got the thingy all warmed up, the barbecue, the Traeger. Now we're gonna get these ribs out there and put them on the grill. Start getting the smoking process done. Huh? Get in where? Why? All right. Probably clean it off a little bit. Get some of the crusties off, you know. All right. Hopefully, as you can see, some of the rub is already marinated into the beef. And we will just let the smoke. its job and we'll leave these on for about three hours and then we'll come back to it and see what's up I'm gonna talk to you guys in three hours all right well, we're back ladies and gentlemen and the weather has turned to flood watch weather. So this could possibly be the end of our show. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna try to <laughs> do something here. 
Hey. We'll try to make it work. I don't know if we're gonna, but we're gonna try. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I can't hear you. Huh? I'm gonna take it off here. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Woo! We're looking good though. No, we got any honey? Very little. That's good. It's real good. That's what we need. Very little honey. All right. Well. All right. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to try and do this in the rain, which just sucks. And we don't even have enough honey, so. I doubt this will caramelize as much as I even want it to, but. Anyways, usually you put your honey on there and then douse it with a bunch of brown sugar seasoning. And it usually will make a nice caramel, caramel, uh, what do you call it? Caramelization. But who knows with the weather today what it's going to end up like because it could melt, it could do anything. And you're going to put some, I'm using some vanilla soda right now to go in here. And when we turn the, the heat up, what that's gonna do is give it some moist flavor still. I'm gonna take that and just put it right back where you got it. And then we'll do the next one, if we can, before the water eats everything up. Oh, there we go, it's lightening up, I think. Anyways, usually it's so much fun to do this on a nice sunny day when inflation hasn't gone through the roof. But. Now yeah, let's see if we can just do something like that. And that ain't gonna work. All right. Bad idea. Mm. All right, well, that's out. Hopefully that stays on there. My mother decided to take a drink out of all this, so now we're out of vanilla soda, too. Thanks a lot, Mom. Let me see if I can get something else for the third one. Oh, you know what? Screw it. We'll do an experiment. We'll just wrap the third one. And just wrap it and see what happens. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? 
You can always douse it with barbecue sauce. All right. For all you know, you might discover a little, a little best ingredient ever, keep everything natural and have a winner winner. All right. So now we're gonna go and got them wrapped and we're gonna turn up the heat to about 225. And we're gonna let it go for another two hours. You got enough pellets, should be good. All right, we'll see you guys at about 4.30. Okay, we're back for the final stage of our cooking video. As you can see, the weather has not improved. It's highly dangerous on this lanai. It's not slip resistant, somebody could fall and die. <laughs> And we're leaking through the tarp there now. So, the biggest problem is getting these things onto the tray, which is always fun. All right. Okay, there's one. Shoot, try to keep the steam in there. I'm gonna try and keep it nice and cool. All right. Here comes number two. Okay, that one's pretty good. All right. Now number three. It might be a little dangerous. Oh. I know it ripped. So, we're gonna try to put it on top of this stuff, which is gonna be hard. Hmm. Shoot. What? Like this? I don't know. Do it like that. Be a little innovative here. I just can't get the this part of it. it sucks. There we go. I got it. All right. Let me wrap it up. Try not to lose any other juices. And then we'll let it sit for about 30 minutes, maybe, which is what you should do. All right. Which this is the hardest part, as you can guess why, the steam just vents out and, you know, it smells so good. But we'll get back to you guys in probably like 30 minutes. I wonder if we can just Peek a quick. Mmm, look at that. No. You're gonna let it rest. Can you let it rest for about 25 minutes? Since she's the one that has to pick it everything. Alright, we'll talk to you guys in about 25 minutes. How's it taste? We tasting good? Uh, 
Well, unfortunately, I think a lot of it's gonna be pepper one. Here, just try and line them up, and then I'll just. I'm just taking this off the line. You wanna put them in the bowl, or what do you wanna do with them? Yeah. All right, put them in the bowl. All right. Turn it over the other way and see where the ball is. Yeah, I know. Just try to do it naturally. All right. There we go. Hmm. All right, first three, see if we can, uh, what? Well, I was going to put it in a bowl and see if I can lather them in some sauce. But maybe I'll just dab it on there and maybe I'll just do it like this. You got that red w broom, the red brush. I don't know where it is. Okay. Never mind. We'll just do it my way. Well, it might have been nice to know beforehand, but never mind. All right. So anyways, you guys, that's pretty much it. I guess we'll just go and figure out how to cut them a certain way like this. Try and get them up here. But that is it right there. Look at that. That is how you do some ribs. Mmm. See that? Look how juicy. Yummy. 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 See how easy it is to cut through these things? Wow. Yes. Mm. Well, hey, you want that? All right, that's pretty much it.
hopefully today was a success. We got one more rack to cut. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.